do. Gutting result in the end, obviously. Uh, losing 2-1 to Potton uh, in the FA Cup. How did you see it? Yeah, uh, really, really disappointed, obviously. You know, to lose all, any game, yeah, disappointed. But yeah, you know, it's a local derby. But I think the way we went about our job tonight, that was upsetting. You know, um, we didn't, we didn't run, we didn't dictate play. We, they had more fight in them, more running in them, more legs. And we just didn't do the things that we that were good at doing. And we didn't do it. We spoke about it. We worked on things last night. We spoke about it beforehand, and we didn't do anything. And that's the most disappointing thing. All I've done it in this last half an hour. We changed it to four four two. Gone like for like, and then we see a completely different team. Yeah. And we ran more in the last half hour than we did in the previous sixty. And we tried to make things happen as a, you know. And unless you're prepared to do that, then you're never gonna you're never gonna win games. You know, um, so yeah, so this, uh, uh, you know, I've uh, just said to all of them in there, they need to have a think about things. They need to think about why there was no energy for the first 60 minutes. That they allowed other people to dictate the tempo of the play and the efficiency that they could play with individually and collectively. And they need to think why they allowed that to happen first half. Because it's not about formation, whether you're playing 4 3 3, 5 3 2, 4 4 2. Doesn't matter. The energy that you show to make things happen is still got to be the same. And we showed it in the last half an hour. The last half an hour, it's, it's like a different team out there. And we had chance after chance after chance, and you know we, we didn't finish our chances that we had. I think there was more penalties to be had there. To be honest with you, I don't think the referee done enough um, in the final 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then we get done right at the end with a sucker, with a sucker punch and we didn't defend that well enough and we shouldn't have been in that position that's a lesson for you know the players to learn that even with when you're going for it there's got to be good security behind the ball and that's one of the things that's on the board there that you make sure that you're secure behind the ball when you're going forward and we were to an extent but then our positioning and reaction to that long ball forward wasn't good enough and that left us exposed and what positives will you be taking out of the game ahead of um, the first league game of the season against Holmer Green? The positives to take. The play in the, in, in the last 30 minutes and it's got to be a learning curve. It's got to be that. You, you, you can't run a season on excuses. You can't run games on excuses. So, you know, I said to him at half-time, I don't want to see any nodding heads agreeing with me. You need to get back out there and show what you're about and show what you like individually. And that's that's they've seen what they can do in the, in the last half an hour. And they need to go and put that into practice right from the very start. Not from the 45th minute, not from the 60th minute, from the minute one. They need to put energy into it. They need to run, they need to work with the ball, without the ball, and to make things happen. So the positives are is that they've shown me tonight that they can make things happen. But like a footballer, you've got a desire yourself to make things happen. And we haven't done it for an hour, and we did for half an hour. So the positive is we can do it now they need to go and implement it and if they're not going to do it then we make more changes it's as simple as that there's enough strength on the bench which showed tonight and when Dave come on he, he, he played well Josh come on and done well and they're the things that we've got to do the subs are ready to go on now fit, the strong and we've got a good strong bench so if the lads on the pitch aren't doing it then we'll make changes and there's a few uh, slight injuries during the course of the game the players OK that came off um, yeah, I haven't had a chance to speak to Wade Carey uh, to say that. Nick obviously is a worry uh, with his groin, whether he'd be ready for Saturday, I don't know. Obviously he didn't train last night, and precautionary, but he's only lasted well, probably 35 minutes tonight really. Probably he was he was struggled five minutes prior to him coming off. Um, so that, that that's a concern, but again, you know, if, if he's not ready Saturday, then it gives somebody else an opportunity to go in. Um, and stamped the authority on it. Matty did for the last half an hour. He looked a different player in a 4-4-2, just playing alongside Gaz, than what he did for the for the first uh, first 60 minutes. But that's just about energy. It's playing with energy. It's making things happen. And um, we didn't show it. We played too safe for some reason. I don't know why, because it wasn't what was asked of them. But for some reason, they've, they've had to go home now, and I've asked them to go home and search themselves why it's taking 60 minutes to take the catch off and have a go and then just see what happens. So that's the positive to learn, that we created chances, we should have finished more chances, we discussed that after the game, 
the chances are there, you've got to take it, take the chances when they're given to you. When you when you create chances, you've got to do it. And you've got to take them. And that's what football's all about. And again, tonight, last 20 minutes, we must have had five or six chances to put the ball in the net. We've never done it. Fantastic. Thanks for your time, Steve. Pleasure.